connection. And yet the router is right there. Wow, that's like my lowest ping. <laughs> So what are we doing? No, no, no. Right now, ca uh, casual, or are we waiting casual. for Buddy, Buddy to get on so that we can do a uh, Buddy, do you want to play or not? Because not I right now. Because I stream me killing oh. me. Or me when? killing him. Not right now, no. I want him when? to stream me killing him. And then watch him scream. It helps me sleep at night. <laughs> wow, okay. Yeah, buddy, we may or may not. No, I had fun stream. watching no, your last stream no. where I absolutely we, we annihilated you. No, but also, yeah, we are. well, Matthew will be carried because I would be on this team. Oh, you would be on his team? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, well. Huh? Who's the one already? I can, I can singly handle both of you, so. Well, he is the attraction. <clears throat> He'd probably end up walking right outside and get shot. Oh yeah, ah, you guys shut spawn it. peeking now. Because you guys know He'd it's so useful. He'd probably be killed useful. while we're still in drones. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Matthew, why were you saying double shield banned last time? You can't ban two operators. Or how I got the most kills on you. Oh, double yeah, shield yeah, somehow ban? Somehow I was bad. Yeah. You can't. Oh, yeah, because yeah, Blitz and Mons here on the same the thing. Person. Yeah. Also, I, I, I like how every time I, I kill you, you just scream, Wow, you're bad. <laughs> this is why I don't want to play Rainbow anymore, because I rage too much at it. Even Bill mentioned it. My dad no, talked to me about it earlier. Hey, hey, um, Matthew. What? The whole Whoa. point of Rainbow is to camp an objective. Yeah, so when you're you say complaining about camping. Yeah. Yeah. You're that's COD stuff. That's not freaking Rainbow. That's all situ. Mm. Yeah, that's you're... COD stuff, not Rainbow. Yeah, just not said Rainbow. It. Yeah, you're saying in the stream, stop camping. You're supposed to camp though. No, you're not. Yeah. Yes. Oh my God. You are. No, you're not. You are. You're in Rainbow, supposed yes, you are. yes. You in Rainbow to you're supposed to camp. Your yeah, you're supposed to camp in Rainbow. Do you see SWAT do it in real life? No, no you don't. Oh my Actually, god. Actually, yes you do. No you don't. I mean you're supposed to because it's, it's again, literally it's their called job. there's attackers and then there's defenders. Usually defenders don't leave what they're supposed to be defending unguarded. Unless kind of there's the only the only of roamers. Okay, the only people that are allowed to roam that like, like people Cavs say no Valkyrie <laughs> Valkyrie Cav and Legion. Those are the only people that are supposed to leave the room. Other than that, you stay in camp. And also, buddy, you are camping an objective, so why are you <sighs> screaming at us? I was not camping an objective, bull crap. You were an objective. Well, That's you camping. were always in the <laughs> The only time somebody actually uh, like on your team that um, actually roamed was when Thomas left on that last match and I shot him through the door. Yeah, that, that was, was the, the only, only time. time somebody, um, room done so we can say you're te you were technically camping thomas start up the casual yeah buddy three people who have played this game for weeks versus one Month. person who rarely plays it yeah because the, Actually, yeah, the game because i don't play the game because i know i race too much at it, it like really last your... night yes but is it in that Some... case is it really your place to be telling us that how we play it is wrong well, the, my style of play is run and gun. Normally, I wouldn't camp unless it has, say, like a Ooh, shotgun. Run and gun is a terrible, terrible mm. strat. When you're defending. Mm. Even for attacking, that's a bad idea. That is a terrible strat. Because then you get mowed down is, by the defenders. Yeah, you get mowed down automatically. If you're that's, camping with... I think with... that's... I think like that's why you rage too much. Door, just get... No, Who buddy, I think that's... Nathan. Buddy, buddy, I think that's why you rage too much. Because you because you ru Yeah, because you die too fast. You don't take the game slow. Yeah, yeah that, but because my style of play is running and gun. Yeah, like you're... Like a SWAT used... team, just slow and methodical. Yeah, you have to yeah be like a SWAT team. Yeah. yeah. Not... I mean, how, how many SWATs do you see just 
running and guns blazing as if they are one man army. I mean, you don't you don't see that. Like you see them hold like behind yeah. the person in front of them they, on their shoulder. They you, would be absolutely killed in an like, instant. Yeah. If they're the only person in like a like a house of five, and they just sprint in there. They're dead automatically. <laughs> Pretty much. Right, only two people. Only two types of people would go in and just, you know, start shooting everywhere because they don't have a will to live. Kamikaze pilots and terrorists. Well, so one, one, kamikaze pilots one, don't need to so. shoot. Yeah, kamikaze yeah, probably, pilots yeah. don't need to shoot, and two. But we're saying, yeah. Well, well I'm just saying, like, run it, uh, just go in and um, not really care whether you die <laughs> or, or the not. the terrorists from well, suicide Well, yeah, bomber. that's, that's, that's when the Japanese were losing the war. They just mm. threw their pilots away. Even their most skilled pilots were killed. Like, in oh, kamikazes. That and, uh, the nuclear bomber, too, you know. Tom, that, so... That, that may or may not have kind Wait, of... buddy, buddy. <laughs> Kind of dissuaded ja what? Japan from so doing So you're much. saying you like a running gun, like so sprint into objective and try to kill as many people as you can, try, right? Try that here. I want you to try that here. Well, the thing is, if you're no, 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 no. stop, stop, buddy. Hey, we'll I just, stand and just watch say, with drones. No, stop, 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 buddy. Just so, just tell me, do you like going into objective right away and killing ahead, as many people as Nathan, you can? Nathan, Don't talk. Come here. No, let buddy speak. I need okay. to tell him something. Buddy, so do you like going into objective and just trying to kill as many people as you can? I mean, since I'm a COD team? player, yes. I usually like running okay. and gunning. No, okay, yes, okay. Just already saying, got a kill. Or get a kill. Nice. COD would be the best choice. I mean, Finca. Wait. Finca will be the ultimate yeah. per person Actually, for yeah, you. Actually, yeah, yeah, that's, that's pretty much her job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Cause that's she, her cause job. she can give herself some temporary help. That's a nitro cell. Oof. Yeah, job, she gives Nathan. you an extra 20 health, and it lasts for 20 seconds. Matthew. All right, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna I heard you. Again. I'm trying to focus yeah, right yeah, now. So, yeah. so you can literally run in, so like basically you just need a Finca and a Ying, and you win the game. Pretty much. Finca right, Thomas, can th cause Finca, oh, wait, cause Finca hey, can wait. blind everybody, everybody out, everybody and, then out. He, and then she, he, and then it's Finca can It's always that one part, dude, dang it. I'm waiting for this health. guy to clear. No, Emerson, back no, out, back shoot. out, back out, back out. Tyler, oh, oh no. my god, Tyler. <laughs> Tyler, Thomas. No, that's my fault. Thomas. That's my fault. <laughs> yeah, Emerson, yeah. no. Look to the left, oh, no, look to the left, No, Thomas, not Thomas, one of them bounced into the bathroom, that's why. It bounced uh, right into there, right the there. bathroom. Shoot. Shoot! Thomas! You just let Finca die like that, bro? Okay, Thomas, you don't need a reload. You? You're at night. You don't need yes, to reload. Yes, I know, but it's it's just a bad habit. I know. You're it, at... It's just... It's nice to have the... Oh, you know, a, know. Fully, a full magazine. Ah! I, I, I love to... Yeah. There you go. Nice, ah. Thomas. Are you peeking down to the left? Yes, they do. I can yeah, agree no. with that. They do need a mountain visit rule in college. Hey, we're planting, too. Here, I'll start streaming live. <laughs> oh, Tyler. What? Tyler. That what? game that we'll play tomorrow will get lots of views because it's a brand new game. Okay. Yeah, what, maybe. What game is it? What game are you talking about? Uh, Generation, Generation Zero. Zero. Maybe I shouldn't be, maybe just in case I shouldn't be in the, you, case, you shouldn't be in the party. Kill robots. Just so yeah. I'm not annoying if I'm not talking about yeah. the game. Yeah. Although, for the most part, we rarely talk about the actual game. But this game, we'll definitely talk about it. This so game is awesome. Streamers. What game so, is it again? Thomas, Generation, Generation Zero. Zero. Go watch the ad on YouTube. It looks... It's amazing. It's What's, already out. So, but basically, basically it's like amazing. zombie survival in a... No, but no. Of it's, it's, no it's, it's robots. It's not zombie. It's nothing like that. Actually. So, basically... You're in Sweden. It's robot survival in Sweden. No, yeah. so, no, let, no, let Thomas no, speak. Let no, Thomas speak. No. Let Thomas speak. He doesn't know about the game. He doesn't know about the game. Listen yes, I know. Continue. So basically, you're in Sweden. Um, the Germans, like, remember how the Sweden army upgraded their army after Swedish. the Germans, like, invaded? Swedish, like, upgraded their armies, like, after the war? One, Sweden was not really yes. involved in World War Two. 
I know that, but they, they, like, did a, like, they spent a lot of money on their army. So basically, you're in Sweden, you go back, you come back from a vacation, Sweden is like, like, basically like a zombie apocalypse, there's nobody in town. Mm -hmm. Like, you're like the only person left, unless you have, like, a friend with you, basically, like Tyler will be, but, so, you will, so you're, you go to the, you're in the island, and there's these robots, that like took over Sweden. I thought you said Basically, it was zombies. No, no, we never said no, zombies. I said that it was Thomas. zombies. Yeah, I Thomas said it was like it was zombies. zombies. Like Thomas you need to survive waves. Oh, but like COD? Okay. Waves. No, 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 no. There's no waves. It's, it's not open waves. World. It's a survival game. Yeah, Emerson, it's a survival you see me? game. It's an no! open world Emerson, you map. See me? It's an open world map where you survive. I don't know. And you have to I try to figure. And you have to try to figure out. Try to what get on top happened. of me. Try to get on top so of me. So basically, so basically, it's like a Fallout 4, but better. Robots and not an apocalypse. It's still kind yeah. of an apocalypse. Go, you go said look that... at the go. Go look at the trailer. Go look at the trailer. You said that Fallout like, 76 was good, and then I looked at the trailer. And I'm like, nah. It's at, uh, Fallout 76 mean, is good. Yeah. Me and Montague. Tyler just never play it. Where? Mark it, mark it, ping it, ping it. Most, most of the door. people that, that hate oh. Fallout 76 are just hopping on the bandwagon that, oh, this person said it, so I'm gonna say it. Hey, I entered! I entered with smoke! You know who, uh, didn't like Fortnite and everybody hopped on the, oh, hate Fortnite bandwagon? Well, Fortnite is Yeah, trash. but Fortnite's bad. Yeah. I agree, but, Oof. uh... Even though he I tried to get somebody, in a I'm team. Sad. Even though he tried to get in a team. Tried. Yep. I didn't see her there. She's low. Hey, somebody yeah. team killed on accident uh, with a grenade. Think, uh... It's only this one person. Nice. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god. I have three that kills same and an every time. I have three kills and an injure. And yeah. sadly, one team kill. Sorry, right. Emerson. Uh, and yeah, okay. the sun's so loose. I would have died anyway trailer. because the, it, the trailer, uh, it bounced buddy. into the bathroom. No, not right here. now, Nathan. Wait, uh, uh, Nathan, you are streaming, right? I believe so. No, I'm not. Really? Wait. Come on. I'm starting it now. Does anybody judge a game's graphics by its water? No. Yeah, some people really? do. Yes, yeah. I do. If, I if the water graphics are really good, then you know that, you know, it's... Good and realistic, you know, then... That... Oh my... Look, okay. it's good. Did you see the trailer so do you for the know game, that? Tyler? Because water is hard to code, so if Tyler, they mastered yeah. that, then they could do anything, really. Tyler, did you what, see the it? trailer for the game? No, but I think I've seen a demo for it, and it look, looked awesome. Look at, look at the trailer, the water graphics are <laughs> beautiful. Remember, but, trailers wait, aren't okay, always Emerson. what's in-game. Yeah, that Unless is it's very an actual, it's no, a game I know, trailer. You know, know like, they the made trailer. For Honor look good. Well, yeah, yeah, but no. And then I it was saw, just I repetitive. Saw Every time it's at one spot. I saw, like, no, I for honor, it's just hot, steamy garbage on its well, own. I saw one of the YouTubers play it, and even with his computer, the thing looks amazing. Like the water mm -hmm. looks absolute. I watched his video on it. Well, it's like a regular YouTube that I watch it. YouTuber well, okay. I watch. So how a few companies do it, like they develop the water first, and then they actually use it to develop the landscape. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but you know how? Um... Look at the trailer. Look at the trailer. Oh, hey, hey! A uh, giant flying drone. Gi you mean? Oh boy, a bandit. Bandito who's the, who's drone? What's the giant flying drone? I don't know why, but I feel like somebody's in here. I, I was very wrong. Let's go! Finally! He's getting happy Let's over go a car where? game. Let's go! Thank game. God! He's getting happy over a car game. No, I freaking finally got a gold on a mission I couldn't pass. Uh, on the car game. Wait, okay. Nathan, who are you? Jackal. Finally! Mm. God! Headshot him, oh. he's dead. <laughs> Do you like that flick, Thomas? I think after this. Hey, who's got diffuser? I'm gonna run the next episode after this because I'm an episode behind. And I then I'm gonna I'm gonna check um 
Got him. the oh, PC. Him. He's not see if I can thing. download TF2. Yeah. Oh or if I'm gonna have God. to try it again tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, it came out like I don't even know how long ago. Why would he download TF2? Holy, we got smacked! Why would you yeah, TF2 that, is man? like over 10 years old. Yeah, it's still yeah it, good. exactly. It's fun. Mm hmm. It's literally got almost the same graphics hey, as Thomas, Fortress. In here, in here. Fortress 2? Yes. Yeah. Oh, God it's, it's the a cartoon Overwatch, but it's the original. It's the OG TDM. Mm. Literally. That's why Finca is useful. Guys. Mm -hmm. And we're going back to Finca? Yeah, she's amazing. Oh, because oh. no, Finca's the one who won it for us. Yeah. Well, also oh. she's a good operator in general. Because I <sighs> shotgun you and Tyler both at the same time with her. Even though on the kill feed it looked it, it looked like pistol it shot. It looked like an auto. Yeah. It was weird. Wait, who said? Yeah. Who said but who won it for us? Finca. Finca. I'm the one who planted diffuser though. But yeah, Finca I know. Got the last but uh, Finca's the one that was just uh. Wait oh, a minute. Wait a minute. We need to go to toxic up. train, guys. We need to go toxic train. I'll be Finca. What, all shields. Oh. No, okay. I'll be Finca. No. You'll be shield. Uh, no, Thomas will be Blitz, and you'll be. No, 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 I don't want to be. I don't want to be Blitz. Well, be oh, a blinding. shield operator. Be a sh just so, blinding yeah, that's and rushing. rushing. Boom! Yeah. Yep. Thirty-four yep. seconds. Yep. With the extra health. With the extra health. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. That actually. Okay. Wait. Should we start the stream now? I did already. Or did it? Oh, okay. We're live. I'm full of water and ready to. Play. No. That's not oh, bad. Yeah. It's a hundred thousand pounds for a BMW. I mean, I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. It's Saturday night. This is legit oh, a literally. good game. I love this game. For being an interactive, for being an it's interactive, it's fun. Ah uh, yes, it's a car game the hot because speed you win every time. map that is tower. Mm. And no offense to the like nobody I who's jump watching off this, of it. but. You can do that with a drone, it's kind of funny. Nathan, we doing it? Nathan, we doing I it? I do it. No, we need to go yeah, to that suitcase. Right. Yeah, we're How doing do it. We're doing it. we're doing it. We're doing it. Can you guys stop co talking over the commentary, please? No. But, no. Why? Because I'm trying to you listen. Yes, then. But we need to talk. How is it 70,000 pounds more you're than the, the DB11? You're... you're talking you're about our in live the party. stream. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because... Dude, if you join a party which is about talking, then... It's... This one's oh, yeah. on you, buddy. Why do you turn whine down about in, us? Yeah, why turn do you up whine about volume, talking, but you join turn... an ape party All together, right. yeah, we're all together. Yeah. Can I jump off? Yeah, no, no, we have to go. Wait, hold on. Nathan, Ooh, no, Emerson, wow. no, no, no. Let's go, with Tyler. Let's go, with Tyler. <laughs> you guys are still louder than the game. That's shocking. Let's go. I turned the party no, volume all jump. the way down. We can't jump. We can't jump. I can't. I turned the party volume all the way down. You guys are still louder than the game audio. Well, I, I'm sorry. Did we get too far? That is shocking, yeah, dude. I'm, I'm sorry that we want to communicate. The largest inland body of water. So I apologize. Incoming. <laughs> Don't die, Nathan. Come follow. They're in that room. Because I know they are. Surge incoming. Re, 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 re. Oh, sorry. Oh, I, uh, I shouldn't do the ying. No. Um, oh, yeah. Thomas, are you dead? 
Right, no, he's, nope. he's still alive. Ow. Some, somebody uh, laid prone at my feet. Some of them were blind. Okay. Hold Some on, I'm throwing him. Keep your eyes out. Oh. Ow. Oh my god. Nathan, you guys... killed two people. Yeah, you guys ran into the uh, spit take. No. Um, <laughs> you guys ran in the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or are we just collateral damage to you, Nathan? Nathan, he's reviving himself. <laughs> Actually, I'm kind of liking Blitz. Yeah, I know, especially with the extra 20 health. Especially when you rush in, they have no idea what to do. And then you blind him, and then you start shooting him. Maybe Buddy was right going guns blazing. Exactly. Yeah. Well, that strategy Blitz. usually works. With Blitz, it's okay. No, it doesn't. No. With Finca, with and Blitz, Blitz and Finca, Gang, Blitz. And... No, no, no. mainly Blitz because he can cover himself. Finca, Finca, he can just really like go right in. Finca's still taking bullets, yeah, but he just really wanders blazing. around and doesn't take any. Yeah, because he doesn't have a gun. Yeah. The display on no, it not. It works if you have extra 20 health, Matthew. That's, that's the they should have had Montagna works. translate to Beetle. Like, they should have had him, like, his name translate to Beetle. Why? Instead, he's mountain he and his shield is the rock. They, because beetles don't bite anybody, none of them are poisonous, but you just can't go through their armor. Well, you still can, but... It's... It takes... Well, if, if you're a human and you step on them... Yeah. I agree. Look, Party. I really like the DBS. Okay, it was a fantastic. Bip, bip, bip. I like the DB11 Bop. Well. and Advantage. No, that's a bad place. Yeah, we should do the Toxic only. team again, except Emerson actually needs to throw in his uh thing without yeah, getting he's... shot. Yeah. That destroys it automatically. Can we get rid of it? God damn it. Um. <laughs> Hmm. I think I'm gonna put it right here. It's time to end. Thank you Neat. so much for watching. Okay, that worked. Are there any right, doors? That episode's covered? done. One more to go. What door do we need covered? Probably this window, actually. Yeah, buddy, play play Rainbow uh, after you're done with your episode. Wait, is that the one? Ah, the youth folk. Nope. Did you hear us? Legend, legends and luggage. Yeah, I did. Oh. So hey Thomas. Emerson, you know my idea. Mm. Okay, then second, I need to see if there's people out here. Okay, Nathan's quieter than the audio, that's good. Hey, could you not? That's the gay. Come on, Nathan, I'm on YouTube. You can't say that, I don't think. Um. Well, our friend said God is point. dead on the stream and he, he yeah, ended and he up got banned. Got kicked. Yeah, he got banned yeah. automatically. We're fine, we still get 21 views. Well, that was because somebody reported him. That's why he got banned. No. No, there was no, nobody to report him. him. It was just him. Um, yeah, it was just him. It was just him. Yeah, buddy. We're, no more we're... speakers. He's placing something down. Who is? Oh, wow. People don't know how to get through castle walls. It's kind of funny. Got an air jab destroy. Yep, air jab. James stands next to a car. That's a GT40. Ah, or no, that was a Lamborghini, I think. Okay, checking cameras. Marking them. Bapo. Bapo. They're all right here. I'm surprisingly still at 100 health. It is, um, it is an action-packed show, but we still... Me and this Nomad are just, like, I, I've been lighting this Nomad up, but the Nomad's never hit me except for, like, a knockdown Three, two, one, shoot. Three, two, one, shoot, 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 shoot. Don't shoot me, though. Don't shoot me, though. Still at 100 health, and I rushed outside and killed Nomad. Ah, oh, wait, so I got the assist for it. Nice. Is a steaming yeah, Tom, I am insane. Oh, Tom, I am Thomas, insane. Tom, that thing's so terrible. Nah, not even. That was all me. I killed no, three. I killed, I killed, I killed one. Three. I killed Aww. one. And I'm noticing how I go off. But Thomas still has Just when I'm really tired. Oh yeah, that's yeah. right. I, I shot. I shot. I pistoled. I shot um, Finca as well. So you gave me the assist as well. 
Let's uh, I go. pistoled Ash, Those and then I go. ran outside with my shotgun and nah, nah. killed Nomad, and and, they, oh, and Nomad was just so confused because she was just laying prone, like, oh yeah, I got a good peek hole. Wait a minute, <laughs> and then I like sp spun behind a corner, and Tinko was like, wait a minute, and then I blew her up with a. Uh, Impact, and then I ran after her because she was scared hiding uh, in a corner. Yeah, here, no. Fearlessness, too. They are literally louder than the game audio I'm doing. This is what he came up with. The engine is a 16 valve of 2 litre turbo as it was before, but it has new rods, new pistons, a new turbocharger, and a lot of electronic tweaking. So now it develops 330 horsepower. Hello. I love this car precisely because it isn't an And I love it because someone. It develops 330 horsepower. There you go. I love this car precisely because it isn't an Andy. And I love it because someone cared enough to make it. And I love it most of all because it's giving me my youth back. It is a bloody brilliant car, this. Oh, it develops... 330 horsepower! Criminy! That's a lot of horsepower for a Wans Hill like this. I love this car precisely because it isn't an Audi. And I love it because someone cared enough to make it. Oh my it god. Develops 330 horsepower! There you go. I love this car precisely because it isn't an Audi. And I love it because someone... Oh, it developed mm. 330 horsepower. Hello. I love this car precisely because it isn't an Audi. And I love it because someone cared enough to make it. And I love it most of all because it's giving me my youth back. Oh, God, it is a bloody brilliant car, this. Not bad, yeah? Develops 330 horsepower. There you go. I love this car precisely because it isn't an Audi. And I love it because someone. Oh, it develops 330 horsepower. There you go. I love this car precisely because it isn't an Audi. And I love it because someone cared enough to make it. And I love it most of all because it's giving me my youth back. Oh no! Oh, it develops 330 horsepower. There you go. I love this car precisely because it isn't an Audi. I love it because someone cared enough to make it. And I love it 
most of all, because it's giving me my youth back. It is a bloody brilliant car, this. Yes! That's 140 more than you had the old car! More good news. Most of the body panels and suspension components are now made from either aluminium or carbon fiber. And there are two advantages to that. Number one, they won't rust. And number two, they're light. And because of all this work, this car is pretty quick. There's a fair bit of period turbo lag, as you can hear. <laughs> but when it gets on song,
going, keep going. Oh, look at that for a tidy line. Speed is the answer. Seconds. And flat out, it'll be doing more than 160 miles an hour. The best thing, though, is that all the understeer you got in the original car has been replaced with an extraordinary amount of grip and neutrality. You have got to love the Italians, haven't you? I mean, Eugenio <laughs> said. A lot of the stuff in here wasn't working, because if it was working, then it would be an Audi. <laughs> there is, however, one problem. It costs a quarter of a million pounds. God. That's ridiculous. Integrale, here we go. Didn't bother filming it, but we haven't got the time. Uh, oh. <laughs> No, well, no, look at it this way. It's actually the same speed as a BMW M2. I think I can also claim quite reasonably that the old Mercedes A45 would go around the track faster than that. Yeah, and be a hell of a lot cheaper. Yes, Just but, fact. but what, what? everything on a Mercedes would work. And who wants that? Be dull. <laughs> it's, what you, it's what Eugenio was saying. You don't want German stuff. You aren't in the Italian frame of mind, oh, you two. Oh, we're not. No, you're not. That's okay. the trouble. Has well, anyone here got oh, an Italian God. car? No, they're not here, are they? They didn't make it. <laughs> it's raining. Did you... Yes, that is a good point, actually. It's also very windy, and before the tent blows away, we should get on. We should. Yeah. We must move on. Yeah, let's move it on. Now, earlier on, Jeremy was listing all the wonderful and remarkable cars that Lancia have made over the years. But let's not forget, Porsche has also made some rather remarkable cars. Absolutely. There was the 911. There was another sort of 911. <laughs> there was a slightly different 911 that was green. Yes, 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 I know. But this year marks the 50th anniversary of what I think must be the greatest Porsche of them all. Is it a 911? No. It's called the Porsche 917. And even if you have no interest in motorsport, you'll most likely recognize this machine. Uh, kind because of. it's quite possibly the most iconic racing car ever created. The style I recognize, it looks like a freaking GT40. The first thing you need to know is that although the 917 looks like a big, wide car, actually, it isn't. Ow. I'm in. Oh. Guy's tiny. I could drive that thing. Cause that thing is tiny. Holy mother! <laughs> of what? Of what there? Of what there, James? Holy mother of what? What the? Porsche is the most successful car maker ever to race at Le Mans. They have 19 victories to their name. But this is the car that started it all. This is the car that gave it that all important first win. The 
following year at Le Mans, as the way to another crushing victory, it would go through the speed traps at over 241 miles an hour, a record that stood for more than 20 years. And in that same race, it was so fast, it would cover a total of 3,350 miles, a distance record that would stand until 20 Just 0.14 seconds. Nine point thirteen. All right, I'll take it. Heck yeah, I would do it. 24 hours of a mom. Even though it's a 50-year-old car, the 917 is fast by the standards of any decade. 0 to 60, 2.7 seconds. Top speed, 224 to miles an hour. Two hundred. 
124 miles an hour. And it was built without compromise using the absolute bare minimum of materials. So, for example, this bodywork, which is very close to my head, it's fiberglass, 1.2 millimeters thick. That's it. Now, in front of me, I have a big rev counter, an oil temperature gauge, and an oil pressure gauge. That's all the information you get. If those are reading correctly, that means the engine isn't going to blow up. And that means you can pin it! There we go. Come on, let's go. Alright, I'm gonna take a slow through the first few, then drift around one. Oh, for the love of.
<clears throat> Let's go. Liter 12 cylinder engine produces 621 horsepower, which is modest by the standards of today's road going hype. What's more amazing than that, actually, is that this car exists at all, because its gestation was, let's say, it was quite difficult. The story of its birth starts in 1968, when the governing body for sports car racing, alarmed that the top-end unregulated prototype cars were becoming too fast, too expensive, and too dangerous, decreed that such machines should have engines no larger than three liters. However, the governing body also said that if you could build 25 road-going versions of your racing car, that engine limit would be raised to five liters. Although, secretly, they knew that no small sports car manufacturer could actually afford to do that. They didn't think there'd be any takers. The ragtag Porsche team just made the deadline. And the motorsport inspectors gave the road cars the sign-off, presumably not inspected them too closely, or they would have noticed that most of them had truck axles. Pierre mm. hoped for a big win at the 1969 Le Mans race, but it was a disaster. One of the privately entered cars crashed on lap one, killing its driver. The others broke down as the race wore on, until just one remained, driven by this man, British driver Dickie Atwood. Difficult would be uh, putting it mildly. Um, uh, Life-threatening could be another one. Um, right. It was... Um, Can you not play that music in my stream, please? What? Can you not play that music on my stream? I'm on YouTube. I don't want to get copyrighted. But the, uh, there wasn't enough pressure on the bodywork to keep it on the ground. Huh? And now, since the legend is celebrating... It's what you're watching birthday, has copyrighted music. Can you please go in, like, the other room or something? So I thought, please? Why don't we put Mr. Dicky Atwood back in it? Then turn it off. Legs a bit and no! spice things up. Then go in the other... Oh, there, let's video. see how the old legend, I mean the car... But just go in the other room, because it has copyrighted no! music. Yes, sir. This Porsche, the 911 GT2 RS, the biggest gun in Porsche's current arsenal. Now, attentive viewers will have noticed that I'm not actually driving, and that's because I've decided to do this properly. We're going to have old Porsche Le Mans winning racing driver versus young. Porsche Le Mans winning race driver because this is Neil Yarny and he won for Porsche in 2016 in the 919. To be honest, he's also probably a bit better at this than I am. To be honest, he's also probably a bit better at this than I am. Well, it depends on how I drive there, J May. Oh, I almost called you Jeremy again. James, pardon me. Ah! Also, probably a bit better at this than I am. 
To be honest, he's also probably a bit better at this than I am. Halfway through. All right. Whoa, right back there. So, so you see, James, some old men can drive fast. Just saying. Anyway, let's move it on, shall we? Yep, let's move it on. Um, as you would probably imagine, we have to travel a lot to make this show. I mean, just in making this series alone, we have been to Colombia, Detroit, Las Vegas, Scotland, Tbilisi, Baku, Istanbul. Helsinki and Chongqing, Mongolia, Hong Kong, Florida, Spain, France, Italy, Switzerland. But that's just to make 13 programs. Yeah, and we're not making that up. We genuinely have been that far. Yes. And that means we have to go through a lot of airports, and almost all of them. Drivers are mad for a number of small reasons, and one big one. Yeah, you. What? <laughs> well, you. We have to travel with you everywhere, and you never stop ranting about it. Well, I do a little bit of that, yeah. A little bit? Yeah. The first 20 minutes of the film we're about to see are just rants before we even get to the point. Yeah, that is true, but it's worth it, as you shall see. This is London Stansted Airport, which is located nowhere near London. I came on a train, 2,000 people on it, no security at all. Going on an aeroplane, ooh, well, I'll do this. Oh, it's one of these again. Really? It's one of these again. All right.
Okay, I know what to do. I'm gonna start. Going on an airplane. Well, we'll do this. Oh my god, okay. And then, of course, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay. Oh no, that one was just fine. Okay, yep, I know what to do. Restart. <laughs> Okay, that time I actually got a gold on it. Wow. And then, of course, it wasn't that hard. Selected for a special search. Of course it is. Oh, yes, there you go. You've been through an x-ray machine. If you go to a hospital and you x-ray somebody's leg, okay, you say, right, it's not broken, I can see that, but let's just cut your flesh open to make sure. It's, it's, no, it's been x-rayed. Why are they looking at it again? Oh, here we go. Yep, salt. Self-raising flour. Normal flour, baking powder, talcum powder, that's from an athlete's foot. I've put them in clear bags every single airport. You go through anywhere in the world. Why are they so interested in my condiments and medical necessities? I don't I mean, know, mate. <laughs> I felt so bad. For... You're out of security and straight into a shop, which wouldn't be so bad if it sold something you actually wanted, like bog roll or cat food. But no, all they sell is perfume. Why do they think when you get to an airport, all oh, right, I've suddenly overcome with a need to smell like Victoria Beckham. Then you've got the adverts. Look at that halfwit. Oh my God, wow. To smell like Victoria Beckham. Then you've got the adverts. Look at that halfwit. To smell like Victoria Beckham. <laughs> the adverts. Look at that halfwit. Look at it. Every advert in every airport makes no sense. I can see now why James May volunteered not to be in this film. And finally, you get to the gate, which is so far from civilization, they're still using a dot matrix printer. 
We have explained to him that the walk has to be this long because aeroplanes are wide because they've got wings. But he can't seem to understand the concept. Look, Clearly. I will admit that that was a long walk, yes? I don't yeah. care what the reason is, it's a long walk. It is quite a stretch, yes. Which is why we decided to address the problem. Shut him up. Shut him up, oh God. So here we are arriving at the airport again with what looks like normal hand luggage. Okay, what I have here, as you can see, is a perfectly ordinary wheeled suitcase. If I hold the handle away, it will fit in an overhead locker. However, if I lay it down like so, you can see it's starting to look like a car. Not really, mate. No, it is. It will look even more like a car when I have completed the build and then. You heard that? A solid click like an M16 rifle bolt. An M16 rifle bolt? <laughs> Come on. And then I simply sit it on it, been quite careful to keep that away from my plums. And I am ready to go. So where's yours? Here. Yeah. Uh, laptop? Yeah. Put it on the floor. Wheeled laptop. Oh yeah. Yeah, but oh I see you stand on. Yeah. And I'm off. So where's your luggage? In my pocket. I got. Pants, toothbrush, everything I need. I'm good to go. I mean, that does look a bit dangerous. It is. <laughs> so I'm going to these pads. Right, are we ready then to revolutionise air travel? Yeah, the worst bit about every working day is about to get better. Let's do this. <laughs> if this <laughs> actually works. I am. <laughs> I reckon I'm 5'11 on this. Yeah, there's been a bit of a role reversal. It's good. I'm going to be honest with you. In a matter of moments, we arrived at the check-in. Oh my god. Hello, oh my god, what is this? It's good. I'm gonna be honest with you. In a matter of moments, we arrived at the check-in. Hello. Hello, this is the future. Just. Ow. Yeah, there's been a bit of a roll reverse. Yeah, it's good. I'm going to be honest with you. In a matter of moments, we arrived at the check-in. Yeah. You're slow to start, yeah, but I. of moments we arrived at the <laughs> Hello. Hello, this is the future. Oh, okay, so it makes me turn sharper, I get it. <laughs> In a matter of moments we arrived at the check-in. Hello. Hello, this is the future. Close, so close. In a matter of moments, we arrived. Let's see if this can actually work. Hello, this is the teacher.
Are you kidding me? Um. You what, mate? I'm gonna try that again because that's fun. <laughs> See if I can do quicker. That was a fail. Nice try there, Jeremy. Soon we were motoring through the duty free shops. Oh, shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Did he say what I think he said? I actually have nine wheels on my suitcase, not counting this one. Oh, that was that was <laughs> that was a bad mistake. <laughs> yeah. He knew that was coming. <laughs> Soon we were motoring through the duty free shops. Oh, shit, no. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what a. Oh, I no. I meant that. <laughs> nice one, Jeremy. The speed! The speed, he said! Oh, shoot! <laughs> what was that? Huh? Okay, I can see why this would take a minute 45. That is actually funny though. I'm in a first person on a freaking luggage cart that's turned into a car. That makes no sense, but I'm gonna roll with it. <laughs> oh, that's what I love about this game. Sometimes it makes no sense, sometimes it does. You just gotta find out when it will. And when it won't, then you can make the most out of it.
Yes! With two seconds left to spare. What? No, mate, it's this one. Who's the plane? Moron. Ah. And on that terrible disappointment, back to the tent. Ah. Hmm. Don't you dare. Why? I'm not even that loud. Good night. Right, here's Abby on my superb suitcase. Good job. Here's Abby on my superb suitcase. Oh, the slow starts what gets me every time. No oh, silver. That's BS. That's rigged. Right, here's Abby on my superb suitcase. Here's Abby on my superb suitcase. Oh my gosh. Right, here's Abby on my superb suitcase. Right, 
Here's Abby on my superb suitcase. Good dog. There we go, that time. Uh, screenshot when earned. Earn all golds. Ultra rare. Hands up, who here would like to have one of those for going through an airport? Yes, yeah, right. there you go, we're on to something. Yeah. So those, those things you've created are a complete menace to the people using them mm -hmm. and everybody else in the airport. Uh, fair? Yeah, yeah. Yes, that yeah. is fair. Actually, now I come to think of it. And so, on that terrible disappointment, it's time to end. Now, next week, there's a Grand Tour special. We're attempting to cross the vast wilderness that is Mongolia using a car that we built, well, they built, ourselves. See you then. Take care. Good night. What a way to pull it off. What a way to do it. All right. So with that out the way, and it's only 10.36, yeah, I'm about to hit the hay. I got my lessons in 12 hours, so I got my driving lesson in 12 hours, so I should probably go to bed. Yeah, but my lesson isn't until 12.30, so we should be all right. That was fun. Let's see, is there anybody on that would want to play me before I get off? Because Michael is in a party. They're in a full party. Flip is in a two-person party. Michael's in a four-man, three-man party. Nathan is in a two-man party. And there's really nobody. That party doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, there's nobody else. All right, then. Well, that was a good game. Okay. Have a good night, everyone, and uh, see you tomorrow. I need to end it first.